The All-American Canal was the first major water project in the American West and is the single largest freshwater conveyance system in the world. A lot of you have probably never heard of it, but there's almost a 100% chance that you have benefited from it. Let's learn why. In very broad geologic terms, California is trying to break away from the rest of North America. And I mean that geologically, not politically. The San Andreas Fault cuts through California about like this and extends out into the ocean through the Gulf of California. What's happening all through here is what's called a rift valley. The two sides are gradually pulling apart, opening up a big basin. Now this low spot starts down here by Baja, California, through the Imperial Valley, the Salton Sea, and into Southern California. When Europeans first reached this part of the country in the 1500s, they found all this underwater. You see, the Colorado River dumps out in a delta right here. All that silt and sediment has filled in the Rift Valley, and for thousands of years has had a choice of whether to go north or south. Geologists estimate it was about a 500-year cycle of the water filling up this basin before getting choked off with silt and flowing the opposite direction, allowing this area to eventually evaporate and dry out. This filling and evaporating cycle in Lake Cahuilla has been happening for thousands of years, which is why you have thousands of years of rich, silty soil left behind. So it's no surprise that this entire valley is incredibly fertile, something that indigenous people had known for centuries. Just amazing cropland. If you look at it from this angle, you can see how the delta spreads out in either direction. But the end of the Mexico-American War in 1848 meant that there were new borders in place. And the line just happens to go right through this valley. Fast forward to the turn of the century. A man by the name of Charles Robinson Rockwood had a big idea. Seeing that this entire area was very rich for agriculture, he petitioned California to form the new county of Imperial, along with his new venture, the California Development Company, to sell off plots of land right here as a new irrigated planned community. There was just one problem. The only way to get water by gravity from the Colorado River into the Imperial Valley was, you guessed it, through Mexico. Now this scheme actually worked, kind of. There were some interesting cross-border issues. At one point tried to blackmail the Imperial Valley farmers for the water. But that's a whole nother story. The real problem was that the river was very hard to divert. One day it would be at a trickle and the canal couldn't flow. Another day, there'd be too much water and it would blow out the diversion. Worst of all, the Colorado River was extremely muddy. And all that silt has to keep moving or it settles to the bottom. The California Development Company's canals quickly became choked with sediment. They couldn't dig them out fast enough. They began moving their diversion from the river further and further upstream, eventually settling on a spot just a mile or so north of the border, near Pilot Knob. And this is where disaster struck. In spring of 1905, a series of floods coming down the Colorado River blew apart the canal diversions, sending the entire flow of the Colorado River into the Imperial Valley. This is one of the wildest civil engineering disasters in American history, and very much worth reading up on. But the end result was that the breach was open for about a year and a half, and all that water flowed downhill and filled what we now know as the Salton Sea. The California Development Company went bankrupt, and all of the landowners who had discovered just how good this soil was suddenly had a reason to lobby the government for a more permanent source of water. More than anything else, this really is the impetus that gets us to Hoover Dam. The dam was finished in 1936, Lake Mead finished filling in 41, and the All-American Canal delivered water to its first customers in 1942. The name All-American is about the geography. For the first time, moving water from the Colorado River to the Imperial Valley didn't require dipping down into Mexico. As you can see, the canal route follows right alongside the border. The canal supplies on average 15,000 cubic feet of water per second to around half a million irrigated acres in the Imperial Valley. These half a million acres enjoy a nearly year-round growing season, where the combination of sunny skies, plentiful water, and great soil allows for several harvests a year on crops that would otherwise be seasonal. This half million acres supplies most of America's leafy green vegetables. Romaine lettuce, cabbage, spinach, cauliflower, broccoli, onions, honeydew, cantaloupe. Basically, if you had salad this week anywhere in North America, your food came from here. And all thanks to water from the All-American Canal. 